I am so happy to have a dear friend, Steph Mariani, here in studio with me. And uh, Steph has got her new CD out, Steph Mariani, Highway of Love. <laughs> and I like LP in there. You like that? I like that. We're pressing good. vinyl. Yeah, I, I like, are you really? Yeah. I love it. Absolutely. It's growing. It's happening. Well, I've known Steph for years, and of course, um, you are no Hoku Hano Hano winner. Correct. Was that Stay Gold era when you're doing the Stay Gold? That right? was with Stay Gold, yes. Which was a piece you worked with one of one of the premier engineers on Oahu, right? Yes, that would be Dave Tusserone, the Dave Tusserone, legendary. Yes. And you found that was a very interesting experience. As a, uh, you've recorded a lot of studios in a lot of places, but. Um, you decided to really go that route knowing his expertise and how well he works on Oahu and his respect. He's so respected. Yeah, I mean, he came very highly recommended, but I had no idea what I was really in for. Um, I didn't realize I was dealing with uh, such a brilliant engineer. And uh, he... he, he well, t- an engineer and a bit of a producer too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, because he knew how to get the sound you wanted out, right? Well, he kind of just got what I was doing. Uh-huh. And he just made it sound beautiful. Yeah. Which is which is saying a lot. And Stay Gold um was a very heartfelt piece. I've been playing it and it's very touching. Thank you. And it's something we I mean, you know, cuz this is a this is the state of Aloha. And the presence of aloha is a lot about staying gold, right? Isn't aloha and staying gold very close? Basically, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's uh, stay gold is a plea to remain a good person in a hard world. And and actually, Highway of Love is the follow-up for that, which gets more specific uh, about the principles of aloha uh, being the key in staying gold. And it, 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 it's a full circle release as well because um, your mother passed away. And that was like a year and a half ago, about a year and a half ago? Yeah, so it was It was actually in November of 17, mm-hmm. so yeah, a couple yeah. years ago now. And, and you decided to resurrect her memory in this release. Yeah, so what I did was I took some of her unreleased original music and I recorded it. And then the 10th track, I don't know if you noticed, but that's her unreleased from um, her voice and her guitar playing and all she we was did. a folk singer and, and yeah. very dedicated yeah. to what she was doing yep and at the time you didn't really understand it but it's so interesting in our relationships with our parents and what happens and I don't think you could have guessed five years ago six years ago that you would be doing this no but isn't it funny how <laughs> life evolves and teaches us and 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 brought you down to this highway. You never would have imagined you'd be doing your mother's pieces on a CD. Yeah, uh, life is life is um, interesting, and um, yeah, I, I basically what that brought me down to is coming back home, and being who I am and who I was born to be, and that's my mother's legacy, and uh, that's that's the most important thing that I could be carrying on. Yeah, no, it's very very important, and you've been so active. I mean, you've gone to Nashville, you've gone around and you travel all around. You're very, very active social media and you're very active in the Grammys and the Indies and, and um, you know, embraced in that. You do a lot of concerts um, in that field and you get to connect with some beautiful people that are on this album through that as well, I noticed. You've got, um, of course, the great uh, Dave Gross, who's with the North West chapter, right? Yep. He's the, one of the... He's our president, president. yeah. And also um, another Grammy um, indie person, Lonnie Park. Yeah, Lonnie Park, the Lonnie Park. He's all the way over I think, on Connecticut or East Coast? He's so, in upstate New York. Upstate New York. Yeah, so a bit wow. of a collaboration there across the nation. And uh, uh, the great Jim Kimo West. I yeah. love him. Isn't he amazing? He's amazing. He's I such love a beautiful him. soul. I love him, and I love working with him, and that won't be the last time. Great, great guitar player, and also in a strange connection, which I don't know quite how. I'm trying to remember. I interviewed him. I'm trying to remember <laughs> how he met Weird Al Yankovic. But he's been in Weird Al Yankovic's band for years. For like travels, 25 years or something. Travels around the whole country. <laughs> yeah. But there's this very sensitive other side of him that just does beautiful, slacky guitar music. Yeah. You know? And he was nominated 
for yeah. a Grammy, and it got put in the New Age category rather than Hawaiian or anything Last else. Last year, right? yeah, yeah, and and um, and so so beautiful. Mm. I mean, so sweet. Um, so let's listen to a little of the um, Highway of Love and hear some of that together here. Sweet. I have to say, I love, I love, love, love your voice Thank on you. this track. And, and I, and that was, was that a lot of that, um, Dave, um, working with you on the voice and the sound you wanted? Because this is a little different than your other releases. It has more of a country twang. Right. So if you listen to track 10, that's my mom singing her original version of the song. And then this track I co-wrote, um... So my mother dreamt of world peace coming in her lifetime, and it didn't happen. So, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I have I have two CDs on peace, and I'm, we keep praying, you know, and we're wondering if it'll happen in our lifetime. Well, ever, here's right? so here's the thing. So I rewrote some of the words to direct attention to the spirit of aloha and the principles of aloha mm. as being the solution to the world's problems. And I truly believe with all my heart that that is the solution. I agree. And every yeah. person that I present that idea to thinks it's a good idea. Yeah. doesn't matter who they are. And I think everybody intrinsically wants to be a good person, you know, and wants right. to stay gold and do all those things. But they don't know maybe how to do that, right? It's not necessarily modeled in our society. So my goal is to model that for people. Mm-hmm. And you are so right. And the principles of Aloha. Um, my first, well, my second CD was called Practicing Aloha. I remember. And and it's something we dr- we have to do every day. You know, it's and, practicing. And it's, yeah, that's that's it's, right. It's every day because you know what? Um, just when we think we've got it, something comes up that pushes our buttons, and we go, I don't quite have it yet. <laughs> right. I, those buttons got pushed, and it was like I reacted in a way that wasn't Aloha. You know, so we learn and we learn, but. But what's so beautiful is there's a lot of people who do act with aloha. And you have some beautiful people that you work with and who support you who do share this aloha. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about the group of people who you've made friends with that have carried you a lot of the way, um, maybe on offerings of music, but maybe also just through supporting you in other ways? Oh, gosh. Like, it it really takes a village. I mean, there's no way I could be where I am without many, many people who have helped me and carried me. And you're one of them, Cindy. You know, just sometimes it's just a kind smile or a hug or a keep going, you know, or waiting. When I was early on in my career, people would say, okay, well, let's see what you have next, Mm -hmm. right? And I know I'm well aware of the fact that, you know, I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm figuring things out. You know, I'm, I'm playing guitar and I'm singing and I'm in front of a lot of people and I'm an introvert you know, so I have all these things oh, going on. Oh, you're the on. most extroverted introvert. There is a term called, an, 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 I think it's called introverted extrovert, but 
But I mean, I get that because I'm in radio and, and people behind the mic often are And you're way. an introvert, right? I'm definitely an introvert. Yeah. But I'm really shy on top of that. Right. I have a hard time at parties or any kind of things. But, but you are out there. And speaking of being out there... We're really excited because you're going to be at the Blue Note in March. Yeah, I'm going to be in the Blue Note, Waikiki. This will be my third show, March 26th or 29th, excuse will me. Will it be the first time doing the Highway of Love? Nope, there, we I'm released good. our album there. Oh, so right. I'm actually, and I had a band. Mm -hmm. So this show is actually going to be an intimate solo. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have a few special guests, mm -hmm. um, but I'm just going to do a very intimate storytelling show. Oh, good. Yeah. And each show is about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. So you talk about the making of this music. Yeah, yeah and yeah. the journey um, to getting there, you know, and my mother's music uh -huh. and all that. So, yeah, I look forward to that. Yeah, no, there was a beautiful couple of videos you did. I remember the video you did about with a friend of mine, Bob Stone, about the making of Stay Gold. Yeah. Which was lovely, you know? Yeah. And, and, and so the story part, I think, is very, very important. Again, that's the aloha. That's the intimacy. Yeah. Um, music speaks to us, but then when you have the person tell the story, um, that inspires us, you know, to think, oh, this is what happens, and this how is how this created, you know? Mm -hmm. And that inspiration is so important and you have um another key that i think is so so important as well which is enthusiasm um enthusiasm is something you can't buy you know <laughs> enthusiasm comes from your soul and it comes from believing and the word enthusiasm is in theos comes from greek meaning in god I did not know that. That's yeah. really, really cool. And when you have enthusiasm, it's contagious, and, and it does mm. sell you, and it sells other people. And I think you've got that enthusiasm okay. and that spark Thank that, you. that keeps you going with your music. You know, and, and music is a hard, hard gig in these times, you know? You know, people ask me all the time, like, what keeps you going? You know, you're so motivated or enthusiastic, and, and you know, it's just my mom was that way. It's because, mm. because I believe in it. Mm -hmm. You know, and whatever it is that drives me, whether it's God, I'm sure, mm -hmm. because um, sometimes it does defy logic how much I pour into my music. You do. You absolutely <laughs> do. I mean, you travel all over. I remember on, was it well, this one or the one before you went to, to Nashville to record someone with Lonnie? What what track did you go? Um, oh, to? Butterflies, which Butterflies, is track, which is on this. track, I think, seven uh -huh. on this. Yeah, so we released that single um, about a year before this was released. That was uh -huh. our first release from from that and then august of 2018 we released uh excuse me 2019 no that was 2018 what year is this 2020 <laughs> it's the oh 20s. It's the 20s. <laughs> it's the 20s it's the 20s you know it's it's an amazing journey and and the thing is you play music that's considered to be well could be many categories the way people classify music now folk mm -hmm. music mm -hmm. because that was the category that your mother was under but it's a little bit of Americana mm -hmm. and a little bit of country twang in there as well. Mm -hmm. But it fits in lots of genres because yeah. it is from your heart and it is that gold energy, right? Yeah. I mean, um, my mom is from actually from Texas, so she's very country. Um, and I was raised in Northern California where the folk comes in. Ah. Um, and then my dad was a rocker, right? So, yeah. so Americana is kind of where I put myself where in Northern Category California wide. was your mother living in? Santa Cruz. I was born and oh raised in Santa Cruz. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, that says a lot. Just say the word <laughs> Santa Cruz and images come to mind, but some good clubs there. Yeah. Yeah. My mom played in all those clubs yeah. since before I was born. Wow. Yeah. And and do you ever stop and, and wonder um, how, and I believe in, of course, spirit and energy. Do you ever stop and wonder if your mother had a hand in the creation of the CD? Yeah, I mean, she definitely did. I mean, it's her, this is her spirit and her voice is on this album. Um, and she, I absolutely believe she lives through me. And I don't know how it all works, but yes, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, I mean, you really are sounding different and you've grown so much. And there's been, it's a long, hard path being a musician, um, especially in Hawaii. I know there's been times, we even talked a couple years ago, and we were talking about your career, and I said, well, gosh, if you really want to accomplish everything you have to accomplish, remember I said, maybe you have to move to L.A., Steph. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you got to leave to go move to San Francisco. I said, it's hard for musicians on, in Hawaii, right? Yeah, you're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you still have stuck with it and have 
been able to do that traveling no. back and forth yeah a bit, so but. i yeah i do travel a lot but i am absolutely supposed to be here so this mm-hmm. is where i get my inspiration and when i go to the mainland i have to come back to decompress and be inspired again so mm-hmm. it's it is a little different model yeah um but I like traveling, and I like coming home, I so do. it works. From the Grammys, I came home and go, gosh, wow, I'd forgotten how fast cities go. <laughs> I'd forgotten how fast L.A. is. I forgot how much you do. Yeah, you just want to lay in and bed for a week. Just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just like, wow. You know, but um, I just really want to thank you for taking the time to talk. And yeah. people can find out, because there's a lot going on. You're making a lot of plans. You'll be doing a lot of gigs. And um, what's the best site? Is it stephmariani.com? Yep. Is that the best site to go to? You also have a great Facebook site That's as well. it. You can go to my Facebook. If you go on Google and put Steph Mariani in, um, it'll take you to all of those, and you can click where you want to go. But stephmariani.com has all of my music videos and links to all my albums, and it's kind of a one-stop shop, all my press and uh, my events and my calendar of shows coming up as well. That's S-T-E-F, and then Mariani spelled M-A-R-I-A-N-A dot com. Mariani, M-A-R-I-A. How do I spell my name? Okay. I thought I said, I said that wrong. I'm just like <laughs> That's okay. M-A-R-I-A-N-A, right? N-I. So S-T-E-F-M-A-R-I-A-N-I. Oh, okay. I did say <laughs> It's yeah. Italian. Ah, <laughs> the end, the end. Got it. Steph Mariani. Yes. Uh, dot com. Mariani. And, and uh, yeah, because you got not only, I guess you'll be able to get tickets to the Blue Note gig. Yes. And you might be doing some more work here on Maui. Yep. That's that's the that's the idea. You know, you know I've been here for 20 years and I can't stay away from Maui. It's home. So oh, I'll definitely yeah. be announcing some dates uh, to play here on Maui. Well, I think that's wonderful. We're looking forward um, to uh, seeing more of you here on yeah. Maui. I know I am. And uh, seeing you play in some of the local clubs because uh, there is something still, you know, I'm old-fashioned and many people here on Maui appreciate the live experience still. Yeah. You know, and it's a wonderful. And you'll be able to have your, you'll have your CDs available yep. at the gigs, so. Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking the time to thank come in. Thank you for in. having me, Cindy. It's great seeing you. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha.